Mrs. Turnbuckle! Mrs. Turnbuckle! What, Blubs? Well, I was just wondering, where's your husband? I thought he was supposed to be teaching us today. Well, he is, but... Huh? <sighs> he is, but he's had it with this class. Apparently, this very class has driven him into madness. What? Driven him to madness? But that's impossible! How could us angels have driven him to madness? Hey, Mr. Turdbuckle! Blubs, not now. You're in the middle of your English test. But I'm already done, Mr. Turdbuckle! But, Blubs, all of your answers are blank. What are you talking about? Your paper. You... you didn't answer any questions. Come on, you have to start taking the test. But I've already taken it! You handed the paper to me, and I took it! You never said anything about answering any questions! You... you freaking idiot. Well, well, now I did, so please, answer the questions. Uh... what questions? Oh, please. You're probably just making stuff up. Mr. Turnbuckle loves me! Well, he did say it was one student in particular, and, uh, yep, it's, it's you. Well, then I promise to be a good boy today. Thank you, Blubs. Now, everyone, it's time to take a, a, a test. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm great at taking tests! Blubs? What? Please, answer all the questions on the paper. Easy! Why does Renma give Joseph the green apple instead of the red one? Blubs, quietly. Because Joseph likes the sour flavor. Blubs, you just gave a test answer to the whole class. Why does Renna spit out a bite of her apple? Easy, because it had a family of worms living inside of it. I can't, I just can't, I, I quit. See you all the later. No, just kidding. I'll never f***ing see you f***ing heads again! Good f***ing bye! Mr. Turdbuckle married well. Oh man, I can't wait to learn today. Bruh, ain't no teacher today, man. We ain't gonna learn squat today. What? No teachers? What? Then why are you guys here? You know what? You're right. Guys, let's get out of here. Hold on a second. No. No, you guys are gonna stay in this room until... Until I get done teaching you. But you don't know sh How are you gonna teach us anything? Oh, I bet I could teach you a little bit. The coolest guys around the town. Everybody come and gather around. Me and Mike are here to stay. We make these rap songs every day. Alright, scumbags, it's time to learn about dangling participles. Blubs, you still don't know squat about anything you're trying to teach. Oh yeah? Well, uh, give me another language arts term. Okay, uh, teach us about nouns. Mm-hmm. Alright, class. Now tell me, what is a noun? Hold up, Blubs. You're the teacher. Maybe you should tell us what a noun is. Um, yes, you, Patrick! Come on. Blubs, he, he doesn't know. Why don't you tell him? Because... I have faith in him, and he'll get it eventually. Or maybe you just have no idea, and you're relying on one of your students to tell you. Oh, so you know it then? Well, yeah, of course I do, but I'm not telling you. You just gotta have to wait until Patrick answers. Okay, I can wait. Freaking screw this bull crap, okay? I don't freaking know. Just get out of here, alright? Get the frick out! Uh, we gotta stay here until the end of the class period. Alright, get out of here! What the frick kind of bell was that? I could shoot a shot as good as Michael Jordan. My favorite NBA player is Michael Jordan. My other favorite NBA player is Kobe Bryant. When he jumps in the air, he goes flying. Okay, guys, who's ready to get gymmed up? Blubs, you realize you were only substituting for Mr. Turdbuckle, right? You can go back to that classroom. 
I don't give two fricks, all right? I am going to watch you, and you will not do anything about it. Now, for questioning my authority, freaking drop and give me 20, scumbag. Blubs, I don't, I don't have arms. 20 push-ups now. Um. Okay. All right, that's enough. Wait, so are you done teaching us? Well, of course not. I'm your substitute teacher, and it's my job to look after you, no matter what. Okay, but uh, could I at least eat that cookie in the urinal? Wait, hold on a second. There's a cookie? In the urinal? Yeah, totally, bro. Okay, guys. I'm not too fond of this new teacher. Exactly. We're just gonna have to find a way to get rid of him for good. That's a great idea, Patrick. We're just gonna have to wait for the right time to execute it. Let's not get carried away now, Patrick. Your first plan was perfect. I'm back! Of course you are. So I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is, there was no cookie in the urinal, blobfish. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, what was the good news? The good news is, I'm gonna be teaching you again! <sighs> nice plan, Patrick. Whatever. Blubs, how did you even get back in here? Well, basically... I don't see a freaking cookie in here! What on earth was that? Uh, yeah, Blubs, could you get to the point? But that was the point! So someone farted and you became coach? Well, there's more than that, obviously. Which is why I said, get to the point. You know, nobody likes filler in videos like this. Uh, we should probably let me finish my story, alright? Yeah, sure. What? Well, who's in there? It's Coach Flopinski, and I'm, uh, taking a crap right now. Oh, hey, Coach. It's just me, Blubs. Oh, God. So, Coach, one of my students told me that there was a cookie in this urinal, and I, I can't find it. Wait, students? Yeah, um, Mr. Turbuckle left, so I'm kind of filling in for him. Okay, so, uh, one of your students told you that there was a cookie in the urinal? Well, kinda. He asked me if he could eat the cookie that's in the urinal. I've been using my licking senses all over this urinal, and I still can't find the cookie. Oh, Coach, I just got a great idea! How about you lick the inside of the urinal so you could try finding the cookie? And after that, he just kinda left. Well, shoot, Blubs, now you've chased away Mr. Turbuckle, Mrs. Turbuckle, and Coach Flopinski. You know, it really doesn't matter, because I'm probably the best teacher anyway, so I could probably fill in all their spots. Blubs, I am sick of you! You are not the best teacher at all! You suck freaking balls! I am out of here! Fine, go! I don't need you in my class anyway! Scumbag! At least I've got these two! Well then, screw you two! I still have Patrick! So, um... Well, screw you, Patrick! I'm leaving! Were those kids right about me? Do I suck balls as a teacher? Have I failed Mr. and Mrs. Turbuckle? Right. I managed to chase away Mr. Turdbuckle, Mrs. Turdbuckle, Coach Flopinski, and all the rest of the kids. I don't deserve to be a teacher here. I need to make this right. I need to convince Mr. Turdbuckle to keep teaching. But how? <gasps> the phone book! Oh, what's his number? It's gotta be here somewhere. <gasps> yes, I got it! Oh, I gotta dial it. Beep boop boop. Mr. Turdbuckle, hello? What do you want, Blobs? Mr. Turnbuckle, you've got to come back and teach again! I've chased all the students away! Ugh, Blobs, why did you chase the students away? Well, I kind of became the substitute teacher when your wife didn't want to put up with me anymore. Ugh, well, no wonder they ran away, Blobs. Well, just go home. It's the end of the school day, and I'll be back tomorrow anyway. Ugh, great, you'll be back? But I thought you'd quit for good! 
Blubs, I was only taking the day off to take my daughter to the dentist. B what? Your wife said that I've driven you to madness, and that's why you quit. Blubs, you very much do drive me into madness, but I need money, and that's the only job I can get. Oh. Well, I promise I'll make my best effort to be a good boy in class and not drive you to madness next time. And I guess I'll call all the students that you chased away and tell them to come back to school. Good, but you might have to call Coach Flopinski too. I kind of chased him away. Uh, you chased Coach Flopinski away too? Oh, that's great. I don't need to call him. I always hated that guy. Wait, why did you hate Coach Flopinski? Well, he'd always clog the toilet for me to clean up. Pretty classy, huh? Oh yeah, I think he clogged the toilet today when I was licking the urinal. Well, now that I know Mr. Turbuckle's coming back and calling all the students, I guess I can go home now. <laughs> Never mind, now I can go home.